Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed. I love to make elaborate recipes on the weekends, but come midweek, I'm out of prepared meals and so tempted to order takeout. Stop. Using a few shortcut strategies and a mad dash to the store for fresh and even store-bought products, you will get a tasty plate of home-cooked food on the table for your family in under an hour. This needs to be fast and fresh. Welcome to Cravings Food Adventures, easy weeknight meals. On my way home from work, I picked up some beautiful fresh dinner rolls and I'm gonna turn these into Mexican taco boats. I've got some ground beef that I'm gonna toss together with store-bought staples like salsa and jalapenos. I'm gonna spice it up, I'm gonna stuff it into my little boat and I'm going to cover it with cheese. Now this is a super easy recipe that you can get on the table in no time, but also you can save those leftovers and take it to work the next day for a fantastic lunch. It also packs really well in your kids' lunch bags. Now let's get started, but before we do, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I upload new videos every week. Make sure that you're subscribed so you're the first to see them. Also hit that little bell icon. That will ensure that you're notified every time I upload a new video. These are all the ingredients I'm going to throw together. I've got some freshly baked rolls that I literally just picked up. I've got some ground beef. I've got a little bit of leftover coriander. I've got my pantry staple, red onions. I've got some black olives. And I've also picked up some taco seasoning. Now if you watch some of my other videos, you know I have a great DIY recipe, but there's nothing wrong with buying store-bought when you're in a rush. I also have some salsa. You can't have Mexican without salsa. Some jalapenos some lime, some garlic, and of course, cheese. Now let's start with some oil in a saute pan and I'm gonna saute a cup of onions. Let this just sweat. Before adding some slices of garlic, I've just sliced two cloves of garlic and I'm gonna throw that in. Next, I'm gonna add this package of beef. It weighs about 454 grams, and that is approximately a pound. And I'm literally gonna throw it in and break it up with the back of my spoon. I'm just adding half a packet of taco seasoning. This package is about 35 grams and I'm just gonna add half of it. Half is plenty. It gives plenty of flavor to your mix. Make sure to work that meat with your spoon and break up any lumps that are still red. Now add the salsa. I'm gonna add about 10 tablespoons and this should be enough moisture for the meat to cook in. I'm also going to add some jalapenos because I love jalapenos. If you're feeding this to children and they can't handle jalapenos, please leave it out. I'm also going to add some black olives because I love olives. And finally, a little bit of cilantro that I had left over. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lime just to wake everything up and give it that ole. Cover and allow to cook for a few minutes. Now I'm gonna work on the rolls. Using a sharp knife, and I'm just using just a regular steak knife, I'm going to make a cavity. Now I'm gonna go around, and as you can see, I'm barely cutting the surface. Once you cut off that top layer, you can literally just tug at the center, and you will have a nice cavity. Now if your bread is fresh, this is going to be really easy to do. Now doesn't this look amazing? 
Using a tablespoon, I'm just going to get that filling right into my boat. And I'm going to cover it with cheese. A mix of mozza cheddar or Tex-Mex work really, really well. Now this will fill at least six boats if your rolls are about the same size as mine. I have four ready and they're going to go into a 350 degree oven for about five to seven minutes, just till the cheese has melted. It's then time to top and serve. I like to top it with some more cheese, olives and jalapenos. I like to add a little bit more cilantro and some salsa. This is mexilicious. Leftovers are great to take the next day for lunch. They pack really easily and you just need to heat them up in a toaster oven or in the microwave. I really hope you enjoyed this very simple recipe. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I upload new videos every week. Make sure that you hit the little bell icon so you're notified. Also, follow me on all of my social channels. There's so much behind the scenes footage that I upload there. So make sure that you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Until I see you next time, take care guys, bye.